back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and easy beef empanada. So if you want to see how I make mine, then keep watching. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. And don't forget to click on that notification bell just in case when I do drop a video, you'll be the first to know, okay? So enough talking, let's go ahead and get cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and chop a fourth of a cup of onions and what I love about this recipe is that you do not need a whole lot of ingredients. You just need a couple of just simple ingredients that you probably already have in your refrigerator. So yeah, I'm just going to take a knife and just run it through this onion. So right now I'm going to take half of this red bell pepper and I'm going to slice it and chop it into small pieces. Now obviously you can use whatever bell peppers that you like, but reds are my favorite. Now I'm done chopping up my bell peppers and my onions and now I'm ready to head over to the stove and begin making the empanada filling and over medium heat I'm going to cook and brown up a pound and a half of ground beef. So now I'm going to go ahead and add in the chopped onions. And now the chopped red bell peppers. And now I'm just going to grab a spoon and continue to brown up the meat until it's fully cooked. And you know what, I probably should have mentioned earlier to use some ground beef that is very lean with very little fat. And this isn't a whole lot of fat, but in just in case, just grab a spoon and just spoon it out. Okay, so now it's time to add some flavor. So I have a tablespoon of chopped garlic, one teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and also a fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And that's it. I'm just going to mix everything together. Just let it cook for a couple more minutes and then you just want to take it off the heat. And this is the dough I'm going to use. It's simple pie crust. You can find it at any grocery store and it comes in two in a package. So as you can see, I'm just going to roll it out and I need to cut circles. So I'm just going to grab one of my bowls that I use all the time and just press it into the pie dough to make some circles for the empanada. And you know this recipe can make up to six or eight empanadas. And you can see I'm just pressing uh, the bowl into the dough and now I'm going to separate it and you can see the cutouts and then you just take the leftover dough just grab a rolling pin and just roll out some more dough and make some more cutouts okay so for today's video I'm just going to make six empanadas today and I just wanted to show you what they look like perfect circles and now it's time to start building. So I'm gonna take the meat that I browned up earlier and you just take a couple of spoonfuls and just add to the center of the dough. And now I'm just going to add some cheese on top of the meat. I like to use the mixed fiesta cheese, but of course you can use whatever cheese that you like. And that's it. Now I'm ready to just fold over the dough and bring it over to the edge. And you know, I really hate that it's breaking up on top as you can see, but don't worry you guys, it's still going to taste really, really delicious. And now you want to grab a fork and seal in the edges so that nothing falls out. And 
And here at the very end, I'm gonna scramble one egg and a teaspoon of water, making an egg wash. And now I'm just gonna take this egg wash and brush it over each empanada. So my empanadas are done, they're ready to go. I've already preheated the oven at 350 degrees and I'm gonna bake them up for 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes of baking in the oven, my empanadas are all done, beautiful golden brown, and I really wish they weren't broken up on top, but don't worry, they're just as delicious. I'm gonna plate them on a platter and you can enjoy them with some sour cream, with some salsa, but definitely eat them while they're nice and hot. But that's it, we are all done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Share this video with everybody you know. Follow me, tag me on Instagram. Take a picture, I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now wait you guys, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscriber button down at the bottom. And if you want to see another video, go ahead and click that box you see over there. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you all and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye bye.